swimming step in the water, see here on each level. And then the sit is for support beams that run the full length of the building that weigh about a ton each. Now when you guys first walked into the clan house, there are a few things you guys may have noticed. First of which may have been, are the three levels. Now traditionally, the more levels the clan had, the wealthier that clan was. Now down in the bottom level there, there would have been a fire pit that would be filled with sand, rocks, and gravel that the children in the village would change out two to three times a week. Now what this fire pit would have been used for is one large fire burning at a constant 24-7 for eating purposes. Now around that fire would have been three to four smaller fires for cooking purposes. Now the other thing you guys may have noticed when you came in here is that some of the floorboards here are a little loose. This is because when we built this plan house, we tried to build it as traditional as possible. <coughs> Meaning, less nails and less screws were used in the building process. Now also traditionally, each of the board here would have been notched so that we could bend down, pick it up, and then store a person with the lodge underneath and either bend one box on the floor and see the world of matches. Now some of you guys here today may have walked in closets. Whilst my ancestors, they have walked on closets. <laughs> now, also traditionally, clan houses were used as living spaces. So since this is the Beaver Clan house, the Beaver Clan would have resided here. Now, how we can determine how much space each person got is we would take the tallest man in the clan house, lay it out right on the back, and then however many boards he took up is how much space each person got. 